hi guys greetings from my end today we'll be looking at bearings but before we start i would like you to click on the subscription button subscribe by by clicking on the red subscription button as someone said it doesn't bite when you click on subscribe and uh, you click as well on the notification bell so today we'll be looking at bearings what is a bearing the bearing of an object is its direction that's the angle about a point measured from the north in the clockwise direction i repeat from the north and bearings are usually stated with three digits also cardinal points are used we have here the north the south the west and the east examples calculate the bearing of a from b b the bearing of b from a this is a diagram this is a diagram that we have been given here the north this b this a we are asked to calculate the bearing of a from b right looking at this diagram this is b this is a line of action linking them to a so the bearing is simply 120 degrees bearing of a from b 120 the bearing of b from a 360 degrees minus 60 degree equal to 300 degrees how do you arrive at it from our diagram here the red portion is the bearing of b from a okay now how do you obtain this for us to know this we know that if it goes round completely it's going to give us 360 degrees and from our diagram this vertical line we are completing all of this this 120 a straight line angle gives 180 degrees so we have 180 degrees minus 120 gives us here 60 degrees and if this is 60 degrees with alternate angles this one is will equally be 60 degrees right so if you have 60 degrees that's why we arrive at 360 degrees minus 60 degrees which gives us 300 degrees so the bearing is 300 degrees now let's look at the example two calculate a the bearing of a from b b the bearing of b from a this is a diagram here this is our diagram this is a this is b the bearing of a from b a from b this is our point b this is a north pole remember bearing is from the north in the clockwise direction so the bearing of a from b from here to here is 180 and this other red angle portion of the angle is 72 degrees who can tell us why yes okay look here it here is 72 degrees and if there are alternate angles if this is 72 here will also be 72 degrees so the bearing of a from b 180 degrees plus 72 degrees we get 252 degrees then the b part the bearing of b from a this is b from a is simply when you're at a from a means you start at a when you're at a you measure the, the angle is 72 degrees all right now the third example now instead of giving the angles and with the description we're going to use it to draw the diagram first a ship sails 160 kilometers from port b on a bearing of 60 degrees to a port cure it then sails 120 kilometer on a bearing of 150 degrees to port r calculate a 
the distance of arrow from P to two decimal places B. Find the bearing of arrow from P to the nearest degree. Now the first thing, when you hear this term, it then sails. Means it's a continuation. And when you have the angle here, 60 degrees. In the first quadrant, we have 0 to 90. Second, 90 to 180. Third, 180 to 270. And finally, uh, three, uh, 270 to 360 degrees. So let's have the diagram. Solution, we start with our diagram. Okay, this is it on the diagram. This is 60 degrees. We know that 60 degrees is less than 90. This is 60 degrees. Moves 160 kilometers to cure. Now it goes to arrow on a bearing of 150 degrees. 150. We know that this trail line is 180, right? 150, it will be above 90 degrees which gives us 150, because this, if it's horizontal here, this will be 90, but above, it uh, crosses 90. Then this diagram again, here is a straight line, so 180 minus 150 gives us 30 degrees, and likewise, if this is 60 degrees, this is an alternate angle, so here will be 60 degrees. So we see that P angle P, cure arrow, is an angle of 90 degrees. And uh, this triangle will be a right angle triangle. So in the triangle P, cure arrow, we are using Pythagoras theorem. P arrow square is P cure, R, P, cure square plus cure arrow square. So we have 160 square plus 120 square, which gives us 40,000. And P R square root of 40,000, therefore P R is 200 kilometers. Now looking at the bearing, the bearing, they say the bearing is from P, from here to here, is 60 degrees. The red one, this is actually the bearing. The red one is the bearing from P to R. The bearing of R from P is it here, and we are going to look for it. But we know this other portion is uh, 60 degrees. We need to know calculate this angle that I've highlighted in green. How do we obtain it? With respect to this angle, this side is the opposite. This one is the adjacent. So we are going to use tan, and the angle will be tan inverse 120 over 160. So we have this as our solution for the, the bearing of R from P, 60 degrees, plus tan inverse of 120 over 160 gives us 97 degrees. Okay, example four. A ship leaves spot A on a bearing of 30 degrees after sailing for 50 kilometers to port B. It changes direction on a bearing of 120 degrees and continues in a direction for 40 kilometers to port C. Find A, the distance of C from A, B, the bearing of B from C. That's our diagram. Bearing of 30 degrees is in the first quadrant there. 30 degrees moves for 50 kilometers, move here for 50 kilometers, to a port B, this is our port B. It changes direction on a bearing of one 120 means after 90, you add 30 to 90, you are here at 120. And continuous in that direction for 40 kilometers. Here, yeah, this length BC is 40 kilometers to port C. The distance of C from A. Okay, when you look at it here, if this is 30 degrees, we have 30 degrees here. And uh, if here is 120. This is a straight line. All the angles in a straight line add up to give 180. So 180 minus 120, 60 degrees. If this is 60 degrees, this will equally be 60 degrees. Alternate angles be equal. So with all of that, using Pythagoras theorem, we have 
AC square equal to AB square plus B plus AC is square root. So we give us 64.03 kilometers. And the bearing of C from B is 360 degrees minus 60 as I already explained. Then question 5. A ship starts at a point P and walks 4 kilometers east to a, to a point Q. Then walks 3 kilometers north to point R. Find A, the distance PR. Okay, this is a diagram. This P, 4 kilometers to Q, Q to R, 3 kilometers. So the distance PR. Using Pythagoras theorem, we have square root of 3 square plus 4 square, 5 kilometer. The bearing of P from R, okay, this is a vertical line from R, that's a bearing indicated in red. We already know this one in green is 180, so we need to have this angle. This angle, to obtain it, we have the opposite, the adjacent. And tan inverse of 4 over 3 is 53.13. Added to 180 degrees gives us 233 degrees. That's the bearing. Okay, thank you for your keen attention. Have a great time.